Hello friends, in this video we will produce parabenzoquinone by the oxidation of hydroquinone. Parabenzoquinone or simply quinone is an organic compound that has a bright yellow color and a characteristic irritating odor and even cause irritation to eye and watering from the eye. Materials required for this synthesis includes 5 grams of hydroquinone, 2.8 grams of potassium bromate and 2.5 milliliters of one normal sulfuric acid. Start by fixing a 100 milliliter 3 neck round bottom flask on a stand. One of the side neck is closed and the other side neck has a thermometer adapter with a temperature probe of the hot plate going inside. A magnetic steering bar is also placed inside the flask. 5 grams of hydroquinone is then slowly added to the flask with a spatula, trying to avoid spillage, but as usual I spill the compound. Hydroquinone is a white fluffy powder. On top of that, I added 2.8 grams of potassium bromate. Potassium bromate was synthesized in one of my previous videos. You can watch that, I will put a link to that in the description. Now we need a very dilute solution of acid. What I added was 50 milliliters of water which contains 2.5 milliliters of one normal sulfuric acid. After adding that, start stirring the mixture. Immediately you observe a color change. A dark red color, almost black color is obtained. The reaction mixture was then placed in a water bath and heated to 60 degrees Celsius. A beautiful color change from dark red to a yellow golden color is obtained. I couldn't capture the video because I was busy trying to arrange the water baths during that time. After a few minutes you can actually notice a rise in temperature. What is happening here is hydroquinone is getting oxidized by the potassium bromate solution in very faint acidic condition to produce quinone. Now heat the reaction mixture at 80 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes under a reflex to ensure complete reaction. By this time the contents of the flask will have a beautiful yellow color to it. After about 10 minutes we can take the flask out from the heat and let it cool down to room temperature. You can see the product settling down. Cool the flask in a nice bath so that maximum product precipitates out. Now we can filter out the solution. I am using a simple gravity filtration and that would be sufficient in this case. The filtrate which is a yellow colored solution can be discarded. The filtered product was then washed a couple of number of times with some ice called distilled water and then it was allowed to dry. While drying care should be taken that we do not keep the compound under the sun for a longer period of time and that can decompose the product. Also be very careful with this compound as it is very nasty and irritates your eyes. I got a yield of about 3.5 grams which represents a 71 percentage yield. So yeah, these are all the people who are supporting me financially via Patreon. You can also do that via Patreon or PayPal. The links are given in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos. Thank you.